Naomi said, I went out full and I went down to Moab. And I went because I had to go. And I lost what I can't replace. So I went out full and I came back empty. And that would be a summary of how some of us feel today, God. But we want to see that reversed in our life that we would say, I came in empty, but I'm going out full. Believing that while Rachel and Leah were fighting themselves, disliking themselves, and proving things to one another, that you were building a nation. Now, if that was true for their blessing, if that was true for Ruth and Naomi, maybe it's true for me too. For every blessing, there's a burden. It'll come together. But our focus is chosen. So, right now, Jesus, in your name, I'm asking you that you would put a baby in Naomi's arms today. It won't take the bitterness or the pain away, but it'll give us something to look forward to. I'm sorry, y'all, but I got to obey the Lord. He said, You're holding Obed. Obed never would have been here without Moab. What you're holding, what you're walking in, it will come. Say it together. It will come together. Say it. It will come together. You got to trust God in this part. You got to trust God in this moment, knowing it will come together. Almighty God, Jehovah Shalom, Prince of Peace, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, Jehovah Nisi, our banner and victory, Jesus Christ, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, change our name today. We came in holding bitterness, but we believe that the baby held in Naomi's arms is representative of the purpose that we are holding. And God, if I, if I preached it for one person today, then that's cool with me, because if they get this, great things are coming forth from their life that eyes have not seen and ears have not heard, and it hasn't even entered into their heart. But you know it, and you spoke it, and you can do it. It'll come together if you don't give up. It'll come together if you don't mess it up and manipulate it. It will come together. I speak the blessing of the Almighty over you today. May the Lord make you like Rachel and Leah, who together built the house. All things work together. How many of you love the Lord? How many of you are called according to his purpose? Just if that's you, I'm called according. I'm not called according to my experience. I'm called according to his purpose.